Hi guys, welcome to Chem or Chem. This video we are going to see Teclitz esterification and Heck macro lactonization reaction. Before moving to this video, please subscribe our channel to watch more video like this. Both Teclitz esterification and Heck macro lactonization reactions mostly similar in reaction condition wise. So first we see about Stecklich esterification. According to this reaction, carboxylic acid and alcohol reacts under DCC and DMAP catalytic condition that generate corresponding ester compounds. In, in Stecklich esterification, there are some important points uh, to remember. The first point is there is a preparation of esters from carboxylic acid. This particular reaction is most suitable for conversion of sterically hindered as well as acid sensitive substrate. And another important point is it is one of the most convenient methods for the preparation of tertiary butyl esters because in Fischer esterification, the preparation of tertiary butyl ester is not simple because tertiary butanol under strong acidic condition that readily generate corresponding carbocations, tertiary butyl carbocation, which undergo readily E1 elimination that generates the alkene compounds. For that reason, tertiary butyl ester cannot be prepared by using Fischer esterification, but Stecklich esterification, we can prepare tertiary butyl esters too. In Stecklich esterification, we need two chemicals that's called one is DCC, dicyclohexyl carbodiamide, and another one chemical is DMAP. Here, DMAP acts as a catalysis for in this reaction. At the same time, DCC acts as a coupling agent to activate the carboxylic acid. Next, we move on mechanism. Initially, carboxylic acid react with DMAP. Here, DMAP nitrogen contains lone pair of electron that readily abstract the proton from carboxylic acid that generate corresponding carboxylate ion as well as protonated DMAP. That carboxylate ion further reacted with DCC, which generate corresponding intermediate as that intermediate readily abstract the proton from protonated DMAP that kick off DMAP as well as O acyl iso area intermediate. In this O iso, so O acyl iso area readily react with DMAP that generate this tetrahedral intermediate. This tetrahedral intermediate readily collapse and kick off dicyclohexyl urea as well as acylated DMAP. This acylated DMAP then react with alcohol. Here you see alcohol oxygen contains a lone pair of electron that attacks the carbonyl carbon, carbon of acylated DMAP. That provides corresponding tetrahedral intermediate now, kick off the DMAP, which generates this intermediate. This intermediate readily kick off the H plus ion that provides corresponding ester compound. So, here there are two important points we should know about this reaction mechanism. Here, DMAP acts as here acyl transfer agent, as well as another important point is DMAP is a stronger nucleophile than alcohol. For that reason, initially, here DMAP selectively react with O acyl isourea rather than alcohol react. So next we will see some of the examples of Stecklich esterification. This is the first example. Here you see that that compound derived from carbohydrate. 
Here there are two alcohols that react with chloroacetic acid using Stechlitz esterification condition that generates corresponding ester compounds. So this is the another example here keto carboxylic acid reacts with phenols under Stechlitz reaction condition that provides corresponding ester compound. Particularly this reaction is most interestingly as well as important reaction because under Fischer esterification condition phenol related compounds failed to provide the corresponding ester compounds but Stechlitz condition can be possible to generate this type of esters. So this is the another example the generation of tertiary butyl ester by using EDC hydrochloride instead of DCC even EDC hydrochloride also can be possible to use for the preparation of ester compounds by using Stechlitz reaction condition. So this is the another example. Here you see this compound contains both tertiary alcohol as well as secondary alcohol. However, under this reaction condition, only secondary alcohols react to form the corresponding esters by using DIC, DIC means diisopropyl carbodiamide. In these two examples, clearly suggested that instead of DCC, we can use either EDC hydrochloride as well as DIC as a other coupling reagents. So here there are two examples. You can work it out when you get your free time. Next, we move on HEC macrolactonization reaction. As I already said, both Stechlitz as well as HEC macrolactonization reaction condition mostly similar. This reaction provides cyclic ester that's called lactones. The reaction condition is similar to Stechlitz esterification condition. However, sometimes DIM of hydrochloride is necessary in order to get macrolactonization reaction. Uh, because D DMAP hydrochloride act as a proton source. This is the crucial uh, proton transfer. And this is necessary for uh, crucial proton transfer step in the macro lactonization process. Here you see one of the example. In this example, both hydroxy group as well as carboxylic acid groups present in the same framework. When you use DCC DMAP and DMAP hydrochloride, so the map hydrochloride salt uh, that provide corresponding lactone compound. Quickly, we will see the mechanism about this reaction. So, initially, this compound contains hydroxy as well as carboxylic acid in the same molecule. Now, DCC readily takes the proton from carboxylic acid that generate carboxylate ion as well as protonated DCC which then react together to form the to form this intermediate this intermediate readily react with DMAP hydrochloride by proton transfer reaction which generate corresponding intermediate as well as DMAP byproduct now DMAP Again, react with this intermediate. Here you see that DMAP nitrogen lone pair readily react with the carbonyl carbon. Then pick off dicyclohexyl urea as a byproduct and followed by that generates the acylated DMAP. Now, this acylated DMAP contains hydroxy groups, this hydroxy group oxygen lone pair readily attack the carbonyl carbon which kick off the DMAP as a byproduct as well as this protonated lactone intermediate now readily kick off the H plus ions which generates the corresponding lactone product. Now we'll look about some of the examples about HEC macro lactonization reaction. So I already said some reactions need for DMAP hydrochloride, some, some reaction 
not uh, no need for DMAP hydrochloride. So in this reaction, DCC and pridin reaction condition that provides the corresponding lactone product. So this is the another example for HET macro lactonization reaction to prepare the this natural product by using DCC and DMAP and DMAP hydrochloride condition. Interestingly, in this example, you see this compound contains both secondary as well as tertiary alcohol. However, in this reaction, secondary alcohol selectively react with carboxylic acid that generate this natural product. So this is the another example by using DCC DMAP condition that generates the corresponding macro lactones. This is the one of the intermediate part preparation of this natural product. Here, some of the examples are there. You can, uh, when you get your free time, you just to give you a shot. So finally, we come to the end of this video. In description section, you can find the PDF link of this content. I hope most of them understand this reaction. In next video, we will see another esterification reaction until see you bye bye